so, so excited to have Chef Silverberg here with us today because I have to say your latke sandwiches are legendary. I've been eating them for, for years now. Gosh, we met, you know, four years ago. Five, yeah. Who even knows anymore? But I don't know if y'all are out there familiar with Schmaltzy's Deli and their food truck, Napkin Friends. But Chef Johnny Silverberg has decided to take his culinary talents into the night with Schmaltzy's Supper Club. The food, while still paying homage to his Jewish roots, is elevated and playful, and that's what we're talking about today. Hey, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. We are so glad to have you here. So what are we making today with this beautiful big piece of fish? So today we're making a latka taco, okay. otherwise known as a latko. Latko? Uh, yeah, the yes. latko. Yes. Uh, many years perfecting this technique. Um, basically, it's exactly what we say. It's a latka in the form of a taco. We make our own beautiful locks. And so this is the dish that goes with our first um, dinner for the Schmalti Supper Club. Okay. So it's, it's going to be latko with locks. We're going to have a chayote relish. Oh. We got some sweet serrano chilies and a little bit of delicious caviar on top. Okay, I got to ask, why the taco? It's like Jewish meets Southwest. Yeah, so I grew up in Arizona mm -hmm. um, and I cooked in Arizona for a long time and really learned how to cook there. And oh, so yes. kind of those flavors are really you know, I love those flavors. And I'm also a nice Jewish boy who loves Jewish flavors. So I figured why not, you know, try to do both together. Well, I'm excited. So how do we get started? Okay, so I'm gonna slice lox. I think we might try to have you slice a little bit after I go. I'll see how you do. I'll have you mixed the chayote relish. Okay, and this is a chayote. Correct, it's a squash. It's in the squash family. Um, it's very, Looks it's like this very on the, the flavor is very mild. Very crunchy, mm -hmm. um, but super yummy. But super yummy, and yeah. it's definitely a southwestern yeah. kind of squash. It's a southwestern, you know, you staple. It's not a pear, so don't, don't just bite it. That's into why it. I showed yeah. them the bottle, so <laughs> they know. Okay, yeah. so I'll just start mixing this. Well, yes. We've got what is this? Red onion. Red onion, yeah. That's peppers. Both red and yellow. Yep. And then this is the, the chayote. chayote. Yeah. And you've got pomegranate seeds in here. You so want me this to put time these in? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. It adds a nice little flavor pop, little sweetness, super right. awesome. And then, and then that's cilantro and dill. Ooh, cilantro. And then this is red wine vinegar, olive oil, and then a little bit of the juice from the sweet serrano chilies. Ooh. So a little heat. Okay. And then just a little pinch of salt and pepper and mix pinch that thing up. Pinch of salt and pepper. All right, I'll do this yeah. while you are doing that. Okay. Is there a way, like a special way to cut locks? Yeah, so a hard angle. First key is a sharp knife. Okay. And and a flat slice um, going down towards the tail. Flat slice. Yeah. Okay. And and making sure that you are slicing it as thin as possible. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can slice it. You know, that. the the East Coasters say if you can read the newspaper through, through the, locks, the locks then you've sliced it thin enough. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right. Oh wow. And so when you say you make this lox, tell us how yeah. the, the process So this is so this is Aura King salmon. It's beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. fish. Yeah, we've got that here. Yeah. Um, and so basically we uh, a salt and sugar and mm -hmm. a spice blend. We pack it. Depending on the size of the fish, it can take three or four days. And wow. then wash it off with cold water, pat it dry, and then cold smoke it for about forty five minutes to an hour. Really? Yeah. That's it. Oh that's yeah. interesting. So it's really simple. Um, so here's a lot. Here's a lot. I got a okay. little. So basically, what we end up doing is you can kind of taste the, okay. the starting product. We basically make a lot batter, mm. and then we make it into a dough. Yeah. Okay. And then I shape the shape the dough and kind of make it almost like a crepe on a pan. Okay. And then fry it. So it's as my gra grandmother say, it's a bit of a potska. It's yeah. a, it's a bit of a <laughs> like a a serious thing to do. Okay. Okay. So I have my. Slice locks here. Okay. We don't need a whole lot. So we're going to I've got the relish You've got the relish. So you're going to pack the relish in. Okay. So we put a little locks in here. Okay. Like so. Little locks like so. Yeah. Then you kind of put some relish on top okay. there. I, I overestimated my relish. Yeah. You don't have to go big. Okay. Just like. Yeah. All just right. like that. All right. Perfect. Then I've got these beautiful little sweet serrano chilies. Put them on top. This is so cool. I can't believe you made a laka taco. Yeah. It's fun. All right, I have to ask you, as you, you're putting caviar on oh, there yeah. too. Oh, yeah, and don't Fancy. be shy with the caviar. Oh, don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy with the caviar. So this is the kind of elevated special meal you're making at a supper club. Can you kind of explain to me what a, a supper club is? Uh, so it's a ticketed event where you come, you come with friends or you meet new people. We got one big table. Everybody kind of sits. I we do five courses. How fun! Um, and then uh, so there she is. Gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Let me turn it around. Okay. Um, 
and it's going to rotate. So this series is the Southwest series. Okay. Um, we're going to take a little time off I, uh, for family stuff in December and January. Yes. And then we'll come back in February with another series. It's going to be a little more traditional, but same kind of thing. Taking, I mean, Schmaltzies were all about, you know, about tradition, but, you yeah. know, we're steeped in tradition, never stuck in it. Yeah. And yeah. so we're going to be doing the same kind of thing taking kind of like traditional foods but not looking them in a traditional manner. I love that. Yeah, so this is a, a like the, a prokis, which is a stuffed cabbage, mm -hmm. a traditional Eastern European dish, also can be called galumkis, mm -hmm. um, served with green chili sauce essentially. Oh. And then that's a sweet kugel with jam and poppy that seed and good. an ancho spice whipped cream. Oh. So these are all kind of things that you might see at a, you know, at a more traditional Jewish table, but done completely differently. Also, yeah, and I love just the southwestern flair for this. Okay, I gotta try this now. Yeah. Because I am here for it. Mmm. It's got good crunch, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know, it is deep fried, so. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the latke is pan fried. So, you know, we started with the the, the latke uh, sandwich. Mm hmm And this is just Which like I the love. next evolution. I love that. It is perfect and it's so flavorful. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Johnny, so much. It is so good You're to welcome. see you. I'm so yeah. glad to see Thanks for having me. Like what you said, we're, we're steeped in tradition, but we're not stuck to it. Right. I love it. All right. Well, you can find out where the, the next Supper Club is on our website. Go to Your Day Northwest. All right. Well, if you have no